spend the night at the airport last night. There was some weather in Tajikistan, so our plane got held up. It looked like we were going to be held here for 24 hours. Luckily, it turned out to be 12. After waiting here, the bus isn't here to take us to the plane yet, but it's like everything's going to go good, get in. Instead of doing the long drive, like we had originally planned the first day, we were going to break it down and do the short drive, which is like eight hours. And then the second day, we're going to do the long drive, which is about 18 hours. We're going to get we should get in camp the same day that we were supposed to, if the weather is good. Yeah. 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 We just got done with our, our one night staying in a hotel on the drive, so we've got about 13 hours to get to camp today. We're going to ascend from roughly 5,000 feet elevation up to 15,000 feet elevation. So it'll be interesting to see how everybody does when it gets altitude sickness. The main goal once we get there is just kind of taking it easy, not grabbing bags, not doing any of that stuff, just letting our body kind of adjust. So it should be scenic. hundreds of thousands but they can't stay here in the winter so all the domestic sheep are goner so now right now all the habitat is for wild sheep think about that and how many sheep you think there are in this mountains 10,000 in 8,000 square kilometers and that's plenty of land plenty of land but remember they're moving there's no obstacles here 
They're moving all the way from the eastern part of Afghanistan all the way across over into China. It's amazing. This is the largest population of wild sheep in the world. Are you with me? Well, wild sheep. How many? Some of you have hunted North American wild sheep. How many wild sheep do you see in one day in North America in the best <laughs> habitat? On a good day. <laughs> on a day. Hey, Sometimes in a wait in a helicopter. <laughs> uh, less than two hundred. Yeah. yeah. Driving around, I saw one thousand eight hundred yesterday. How can they survive this winter? They're, they're, this base camp is about fourteen thousand. How can an animal survive a winter? A lamb, how can a, a lamb survive a winter at this elevation? Incredible, it's unbelievable. Who would ever believe that this could be? Oh, we're just getting set, first day here. Everybody's checking their guns to make sure we're all set at this elevation. We're shooting about 14, 14.5 14 here. We could get up to 16, so it's important to make sure your zero's still on. Well, it didn't take us very long to find our first group of Marco Polo. There's probably 100, 150 of them scattered across over there, probably two miles away. You guys are getting the spotting scopes out to see if there's anything that looks really big from a distance. If there is, we'll sneak up, get a little bit closer. The shorty just found a group of ibex over here, and it looks like there's a big one in there. He's thinking it's right around 44 inches, which it is. It's a giant for where we're at. So we're just trying to play the wind, see which way we'll go up after him here, but it's a pretty good spot. This isn't exactly the type of hunting you would think sheep hunting would be, but it's really the best way to do it here. We can bounce anywhere between 14 and 16,000 feet elevation. Um, cruise anywhere 25 to 30 miles from the main camp. So basically you just take the roads or these, what we call two tracks, they're not really two tracks, just take the valleys down and get to the end and you start glassing and there's sheep in all these little nooks and crannies and ibex are up higher. <coughs> Just glass and glass and glass till you find a good good ram. But there's definitely no shortage here. We've probably seen over a thousand so far, and we still got a couple hours left on the first day. Seen a couple decent rams, but none none of the big big jumbos I came for yet. But I got a feeling if we just keep grinding, they'll show up. Just getting ready to take off day two here from Marco Polo camp. Yesterday we were cruising sort of in between China, how Tajikistan goes up, it was in between China and Afghanistan. And today I think we're gonna hit closer to the Afghan border and almost be directly on it. They haven't gone there in the last couple of weeks, so hopefully come across a big one there.
We're at. Did you see this amount of snow? Yep. Well, we're up on top of a big mountain here at 15,500 feet. And on this whole mountainside over here, it's basically all sheep. We just see clusters all over, somewhere between five and 600. And we've been trying to get them through the spotting scope, but it's been bouncing so bad. And the guys looked down the range over here and all of a sudden they found one that just loops around. He's a couple miles down, so we're gonna try to go and circle around and get a better look at him. But he looks like a no-brainer shooter. Well, we were back on that mountain over there and we spotted these sheep. The wind's right in our face and there's this little ledge that's separating us from them. So we're just gonna keep moseying up here and get right over that ledge and pop over. It looked like there was a super flary ram that was in there that we're guessing right around 60 inch mark. And he just looked gorgeous. Hopefully we can pop over and get it right in shooting distance there. there. The only problem is, and it's a good problem to have, is that there's just a ton of sheep. There's like 150 sheep in the group together. So we'll be picking that ram out of everything else and making sure he's, he's basically clear of all the other ones. We're stalking along here. Just came across fresh snow leopard tracks. It looks like from last night or early this morning. The, the tracks hardly have anything in them and it's actually started to warm up and the sun would have melted them if they were yesterday's. Pretty cool hiking in the same area that there's snow leopards. It actually looks like they're two, two sets, but pretty awesome. We're gonna continue up. Sheep look like they're about 1500 yards right up here. How far? 723. It's a long ways, man. Way to the stops, okay? He's the first one. Find him? Yeah. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Stops. What the hell? Good shot, Good shot, oh. man! <laughs> what a good shot! So I have a great mark of What a shot! Sorry. What a shot! Wow! Great to see how flat he is. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Wow, number 12. Silver Slam with the great Marco Polo. Well, I feel like I'm on top of the world, but it's only like 16,000 feet. Just made probably the best shot of my life. 700 yards on a Marco Polo, almost straight up. I mean, it's a giant. 